Vertical circles. Uh, this is guaranteed to be on the test. There's one question just like this. When I say a vertical circle, we're going to end up having to draw a free body diagram, which we'll go over. But everything else is really just the same type of problem as what we just did. So we've got a ball has a mass of 225 grams. It swings in a vertical circle going counterclockwise with a radius of 18 centimeters, 15 times in 4.8 seconds. At the bottom of the circle, the ball is 20 centimeters off the ground. Okay, so we've got a lot of information here. So first thing I want to do is go through, we've got mass. We need to put it into kilograms, so it's actually going to be 0.225 kg. We've got a radius of 18 centimeters, which is 0.18 meters. We've got 15 times in 4.8 seconds. Part A, what is the period of the ball? So period is time, or total time, over how many turns. So we're going to do 4.8 seconds, and we're going to divide that by 15 here. So 4.8 divided by 15 gives you 0 0.32 seconds. That is our time period, which we're going to use on some of the other problems. Now, how do we get frequency? I can do one over this, or I can flip this. You can do 15 over 4.8, or 1 over 0.32, and you're going to get the same thing. The frequency here is 3.125, and it's measured in hertz. Okay. Velocity of the ball, acceleration, centripetal force. Why don't you guys go ahead and try this? It's exactly the equations you think it is. Answers are up here, so you can check as you go. Okay, so this is the new part, this is the hard part. It's not difficult, it's just an extra step and we gotta be thinking of this, okay? So you gotta draw two free body diagrams of the ball and the string, one when it's at the top and one when it's at the bottom. So we're saying, hey, let's draw one when the ball is here and let's draw one when the ball is here. And this is, when I say a vertical circle, that means I'm swinging it like this. 
So it's going around this way, rotating around my hand. Okay. Now, this might seem like a bit of an odd question um, to give you how it should be different. How many of you have rode a roller coaster where it goes in a loop? Has everybody done that before? Okay, there's going to be times where you feel heavier and times where you feel lighter. It's just like the elevator problem. It's that same thought process. Okay, and what that when that matters is does it go with gravity or does it go against gravity? So we go and draw our free body diagram. What force acts on it the whole time? Gravity, and it pulls it straight down. So we've got FG goes down on both of these. The difference ends up being. Well, which way does tension pull on this one? Tension is pulling which way on this ball? It's pulling this ball down. So there's actually another downward force of tension here. Okay. Here, tension is pulling this one up. So tension goes this way. So this is the difference. Our two free body diagrams look very similar, but they are different. What is the weight of the ball? How do we get weight on Earth? Mass times gravity. All we got to do is Fg equals mg. So we plug in our mass, 0.225 times 10 gets us 2.25 newtons. What is the tension at the bottom of the circle? All we have to do here is write our net force equation. Our net force equation, tension minus gravity equals what? You could call it MA, right? Which is going to be this number right here. So it's going to be equal to MA. I'm going to call it MAC. So we just plug in everything else we know now. So we're going to get T minus 2.25 equals 15.58. Sorry, I'm just down kind of low. So how do I get tension? What do I do with this 2.25? Add it. So we get T is equal to... Five eight plus two point two five seventeen point eight three newtons. Now we do the same thing. When we're going down, so, or sorry, when we're at the top of the circle, so this one, right? Both of our things go down. So we're going to have negative Fg minus tension. They're both negative because they're both going down. Equals MAC. Should I say they're both negative? Yeah. I'll just do this. These two added up should get me the acceleration. It's accelerating in the downwards direction now, but that's okay. So all we have to do here, if I want tension, which is what I'm solving for, I can plug in my numbers. Just like last time, we can say 2.25 plus tension equals 15.58. So to get T, I need to subtract instead. 15.58 minus 2.25 gets you 13.33 is tension. Questions on that? Okay, again, this is like, it's the same thing as an elevator problem or when we get off 
one at 146 and we're going on route 10 that whoosh feeling where we feel lighter or heavier it's just the forces are unbalanced in these scenarios you're going to feel heaviest at the bottom of the roller coaster if we're talking a roller coaster okay all we're really doing is adding and subtracting here okay uh for j draw two pictures and label them showing the path the ball would travel if it was cut a at the top of the circle or b at the bottom of the circle so what i need to know is which direction is it going it's going counterclockwise, which means it's rotating this way, this way here. And I don't feel like redrawing the whole thing over again, so I'm just going to show which direction would this start going. Left. Should go tangent would be left here. And the path it will actually follow is half a parabola downwards. Okay. This one is going which way? right so it would go this way and the parabola would go here which ball would land farther away the one that started higher up because they're going to have the same velocity they're going just as fast in both scenarios that hasn't changed so one that's higher is going to travel farther so the one from the top top because questions